Hello there and welcome. This is Dr. Farhan Kawaja, AKA Doc Testosterone. Today, I will reveal three different truths and they are all about diet and nutrition. Let me start with the first one. The truth is this, there is no perfect diet for you. It's not veganism, it's not keto, it's not paleo, it's not fruititarian, it's not lacto, ovo, vegetarian, it's none of those. There is no perfect diet for you. The only perfect diet for you is what you experiment and learn about your body through trying different foods. This truth you need to really, really understand. What's really happening is this. When you stress on a certain diet or when you are OCD about what you have to eat, that stress that you are causing your brain is decreasing your testosterone more than the benefit you will get from that diet you're trying out. So let me get to the underlying reasoning behind this truth. If you are going after the newest fad diet that is available, be it veganism or keto or fruititarian or paleo or whatever the hell you're doing, that is because you want the easy way out. That is because you want that quick solution. You want the 21 days to a six pack, the seven days to a lean body. None of that will work. It took me three years to double my testosterone. I tried every single diet available in the world. And in this video, I will bring to you the key benefits of each of those diets that I tried. And from this self-experimentation, from reading the scientific literature on diet and nutrition, what I realized is this, you must master the basics. And I will get into what the basics are in this video. Let me go into the details of what I'm talking about. The first topic when it comes to testosterone is protein. How much protein do you need every day? The first myth that I want to shatter is that you need a lot of protein to have a good diet and to have a high testosterone. Complete bullshit. The two macros that are important for testosterone are fat and carbs, not protein. The marketing that is going on out there about whey protein, whey concentrate, whey isolate, whey this, whey that, and grass-fed protein powder and this and that. All of this marketing is to get you to eat more protein. However, when we look at the scientific literature, the ratio of carbs to protein is what is important for high testosterone. The ratio of fats to protein is what is important for high testosterone. So carbs and fats are the two macros that you need to focus on rather than eating a lot of protein. Now, I will tell you my experience. When I was on a vegan diet for seven months last year, I had my protein through beans and lentils and brown rice and quinoa. Now, of course, I know what you're saying. This doesn't have a lot of protein. I know. I wasn't eating 150 grams of protein every day. I wasn't taking vegan protein powder, no. I had my protein through complex carbohydrates and beans and lentils and stuff like that. And guess what? I had very high testosterone and I have very high testosterone right now. You know what? I'm not eating meat every day. I'm not eating dairy every day my diet is now perfected and refined to my body. So for me, eating meat a few times a week works well. Having dairy, so for example, cottage cheese, raw cheese, raw butter, works well a few times a week. Having fish a couple of times a week works well. Having eggs every other day, three to four eggs, works well. But I have also been on a vegan diet, as I said, for seven months last year, and I did fine. I had an amazing sex life. 
I had great boners. I had great sexual performance. My libido was an all-time high. So my vegan diet worked really well. However, I did not want to be OCD. I did not want to restrain myself and constrain myself to a single diet. I was becoming very egotistical. I was judging people who ate meat and dairy. And I did not like that. I do not like to judge myself or others. So I decided to eat a diet which fits my body. And from the past, I have tried keto and vegan and paleo and fruititarian and vegetarian, lacto-ovo vegetarian. I've tried all of these diets and I've tried them in a good way and in a bad way. There is a possibility of you to be vegan and just drinking Coke and eating potato chips all day. That's technically vegan. But that is not healthy vegan. Now, let me get to the minimalism of diet and nutrition. The game plan for you is not what to add to your diet, but what to subtract from your diet. So, for example, sugary drinks, including Coke Zero, which may not have sugar, but it still spikes up insulin. And insulin spiking is what could cause fat gain in your body. So you're gonna see a lot of fat people in the world drinking Coke Zero. Great marketing. Stop it. The second thing about mastering the basics is eat your vegetables and fruits. I have kale, spinach, broccoli every single day. I have bananas, blueberries, apples, grapes, melons, pineapples regularly all week long. Whatever fruit I feel like I eat it. I'm not scared that that fruit is going to make me fat. Why? Because I have been eating fruit and my testosterone is great. I feel fucking masculine. I'm doing great in bed. I can increase my muscle and reduce my fat. I am in the best shape of my life. And all of that while eating a lot of fruit and of course eating a lot of vegetables. So this is what I want you to master. Cut out the sugary drinks. Cut out the processed foods. Don't give in to that bullshit marketing that you hear in the news, in the media, on the internet. Become smart and a fucking man. And the last thing I'm going to say about this first truth is this. Don't just start buying programs from some guy who's trying to sell you the new fad diet. Look at what is going on with this person who is trying to sell you something. What are their credentials? Do they have skin in the game? Are they actually doing the diet that they are prescribing? Look at all of these things. I'm going to give you a story of one of my friends from Brooklyn. This guy is now 19 years old. But when he was 17, he was following this YouTuber who told his followers to drink a gallon of milk every single day. And my friend did that for an entire month at the age of 17. And guess what happened? He grew pimples all over his face. He felt like shit. He became bloated. He wasn't able to sleep well. He wasn't able to study for his high school final exams. That happened because he did not look at the credentials of that guy. He did not look at if that guy had skin in the game. Stop following fad diets today. And look, I'm going to be real with you. Most of you know what to eat. If you really have zero clue, then we can help you. I can help you. But for most of you, you know what you need to eat. You know the basics, sweet potatoes, brown rice, broccoli, kale, spinach, different fruits, whatever fruit you like. If you sit there and you tell me, Farhan, should I eat one banana or two bananas at night? I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, wait, you're telling me that you are stressed about eating either one or two bananas. Does that mean everything else in your life is great? Does that mean your sleep is perfect? Does that mean that you don't have stress? Does that mean you're doing what you love? Does that mean you're meditating? Does that mean you're taking deep breaths? 
and calming down, does that mean you're avoiding toxic people in your life? One or two bananas, really? That type of OCD mentality of being a perfectionist about every single little thing you put in your mouth, that cortisol increase will lower your testosterone. Stop it. And one final thing before I tell you the next truth for today. You need to learn about how you feel after you eat something. Your body will tell you afterwards. If you go to McDonald's and you eat some poison that they serve, you'll be eating it, you'll love it. But afterwards, you'll feel like shit. If you drink Coca-Cola, ooh, the carbonated drink, oh, it tastes so good. During, yes. But what about after? What about the next day? You smoke, you drink at night. You get a hangover, right? You feel it, right? Well, you'll get hangovers from food too. Learn to listen to your body and feel your body every single moment. Now on to the next truth for today. And this is something you probably never heard, and I was always a little bit scared to say it before, but I'm not holding shit back anymore because I don't give a fuck. The celebrity YouTubers that you're probably following, and you know who I'm talking about, I'm not gonna name names, some of them have fucking shitty ass diets, but they have a six pack. They have big muscles. They look like Greek gods and bodybuilders and actors. You know why they look like that and eat shitty food? Genetics. These motherfuckers on YouTube who you might be listening to are genetic freaks of nature. I've seen this with my eyes. Some of them are my friends. They will tell you to eat a certain way. Oh, eat healthy, eat this, eat that. But they will be eating shit. And they will stay fit because they're genetic freaks. For those of you who hang out at night and drink and party, you must have seen these hot fucking girls who are eating French fries and burgers and pizza all the time and drinking but they're so fucking hot, like blonde bombshell hot. They're genetic freaks. There are a lot of supermodels who do cocaine and smoke all the time and drink a lot of alcohol and eat like shit, but they're supermodels. Bodybuilders do that. A lot of people that you might be following do that. They can eat whatever they want. Don't follow those people. Let me tell you who to follow. Follow someone, and listen, I'm not implying me. Follow someone who has transformed. That is the proof of learning, the proof of discovery. For those of you who know Elliot and Tyler, I asked Elliot once, I said, hey man, why don't you make a lot of products? Why is Tyler and all the other executive instructors at RSD making all these products? Why don't you make any products? You know what Elliot said? It's because I'm a natural. I don't really understand the process of going from zero to 100. I'm already at 95 and I became 100. Whereas Tyler was at zero and became a hundred. The people who can teach you are the people who have actually transformed. I doubled my testosterone. I have proof of it. My total and my free. The clients that I've coached, the people in our testosterone truth tribe that I've coached already, some of them have doubled their testosterone. Some have tripled it. That's proof, numeric scientific proof. Those of you who are listening to people who have no proof or have bullshit proof, how can you listen to them? 
Do you want to follow the evidence or do you want to follow stories and games and myths and misinformation? So this is a truth that I had been hiding and now I'm ready to reveal it because I don't want to hold anything back. And one more thing I want to tell you about this truth is this. A lot of people who are fitness YouTubers and celebrities in the personal training business use steroids. It's that simple. They are juicing up. I have been shocked to learn that some people who I would have never thought did steroids do. Some people who I would have never thought would be doing testosterone injections do. This is the harsh reality of the world. And in a future truth, I will get into the truth about testosterone injections if you're wondering whether you should take it or not. But this is what I want to tell you. Stop believing the fad diets. Stop believing the celebrity YouTuber fitness people. Okay? Let's go on to the third truth for today, the last truth for today. Here we go. The third truth for today has to do with four different types of foods that I want to talk about. Soy, milk, GMO, and processed meat. Let's start with soy. Now, this is an interesting one because it concerns testosterone and estrogen. So the theory has been so far that if you eat a lot of soy, then you will have a lowering of testosterone levels because it will increase estrogen. It is known as a phytoestrogen. Now, the first thing that I want to tell you is that the scientific studies don't show this. There is no conclusive study there is no conclusive evidence that proves that eating soy lowers testosterone. None. However, the soy that is available in America is different from the soy that is available in China and the soy that is available in other parts of the world. I personally do not eat soy because I don't like its texture. I just don't like what it does to my body. So I do not eat soy and I also know that soy used to be a $5 billion marketing industry. And I know that when $5 billion are spent on marketing something, it's probably not good. $5 billion are not spent marketing broccoli or kale or spinach or blueberries, but it is spent marketing soy. So I avoid it for that reason as well. But if you're on a vegan diet, you want to eat soy, get good soy. For example, get fermented soy. When I was on the vegan diet last year, I had a lot of fermented soy and I did fine. I did not hate it. I would prefer to eat beans and sweet potatoes and lentils, but I had fermented soy and that is what I would prefer that you have. Now the second thing, milk. If you are lactose intolerant, if your body does not enjoy dairy, then stop drinking milk, duh. But milk has also been shown, this is cow's milk, to increase estrogen in the body. This is a hardcore proven fact over and over and over. The cow that you are drinking milk from is probably injected with a bunch of hormones, especially estrogen, to make them fat and big so they can produce more milk. If you have man boobs or if you have a little bit of gynecomastia, it is because you have high estrogen levels. So one thing that I would try is avoid milk like the plague. Now, of course you can drink coconut milk and almond milk if you want. I don't want that either because I just don't like it. But I would recommend you drink almond milk, coconut milk and other types of milk but not cow's milk or soy milk for that matter. Now, I have in my life drank raw milk, organic raw milk, and I knew the farmer and I knew the farm that that milk came from because I went to visit that farm and I trust them. That is okay if you can do that. If you can go to a co-op in your city and get that type of milk, then I would prefer you drink that raw milk. It might do amazing for your testosterone levels. But other than that, stop drinking milk. Now, 
If you were grown up, now. If your mama and your daddy told you your whole life, you better drink milk, you better drink milk. Okay, listen to them. Don't listen to me. Listen to them. You know, I'm sure they look really healthy. I'm sure they're not fat. I'm sure they're happy with their life. I'm sure they're fit and not stressed out and dominating and successful. Listen to them. The third one is GMO, genetically modified. Avoid everything that's GMO. Do I even need to explain this? These motherfuckers are genetically modifying stuff like hot dogs and pretty much every other processed meat out there. Avoid it at all costs. Why the fuck would you put a genetically modified food in your body? Like, do I even have to tell you? Like, do I need a PhD to tell you that? Stop it. Listen to the basics, obey the basics, stop genetically modified stuff, period. And the last one I want to talk about is processed meat, like hot dogs, and other meat that is not grass-fed, not organic, just shitty meat you get at Walmart. That meat has been shown over and over to be carcinogenic, cancer-causing, and corresponding with that, processed meat causes inflammation in your body. Inflammation is one of the biggest, if not the biggest enemy of testosterone. When your body gets inflamed by eating processed food, especially meat, your testosterone levels will drop. So avoid processed meat. Now, what you notice in all of these truths is this. The game of getting high tea is to avoid the foods you're eating already. To master the basics. And bro, I'm going to tell you something. Bro or sis, I'm going to tell you something. Once you start eliminating and avoiding foods, your diet will become so easy. It'll become so fucking amazing. And you won't have to ask yourself so many questions. I never ask myself what to eat next. I just know and I thrive and dominate and do amazing on it. I mean, look at the energy you're seeing from me right here. I'm in Stockholm right now. I surprised my girlfriend here. Like, I'm doing things that nobody does. I'm going for my love. I'm making videos providing this value to you. All the experiences that I've had in my life, all the mentors I've had, all that crazy extreme shit I did, I'm bringing that to you right here. And I want to welcome you to try this stuff and learn for yourself through feeling it in your body. Don't take my word for it. Do it. Learn it for yourself. And once you realize the truth, you're going to start telling everyone in the world. Watch. So before I give you the challenge for today, I'm going to end with this. It's okay sometimes to cheat. It's okay sometimes to eat a bunch of ice cream and donuts. And it's cool, man. If you're following me on Instagram, you probably see that in my stories. I cheat. I have fun. Honestly, when I was eating like a lot of cannolis at night and a pizza and shit, I was fucking my girl really well with all that carb and dairy inside. My body thrived on that. I fucked her like a fucking devil. So if you want to improve your sexual health, get better boners, better libido, enhanced libido, your sexual energy, your appetite, your energy, your productivity, your focus. You have to avoid all that shit I talked about in this video. But be flexible, be free. Don't be anal, don't be OCD. It's okay. It's okay to have fun with friends. It's okay to drink sometimes. All right? Now the challenge. Go to the Facebook group, The Testosterone Truth Official. If you haven't joined yet, crazy. Join it right now. Go to the Facebook group and simply post what is one food that you love to eat and you feel amazing afterward. And B, part two to this challenge, post a food that you hate, how you feel after eating the food, but you love it during the eating of it. So for me, I love when I cook lentils 
with the sauce that I make for myself with the curry powder and the ginger, garlic, turmeric, all fresh. And I make it myself and I cook that with onions, tomatoes, peppers. That sauce and the lentils on top, I love to eat during and I feel amazing after. Also, I love to eat cheap fucking dollar pizza in New York City. You know, you just get a dollar a slice and I eat five slices. I love that feeling while I'm eating. But afterwards, I want to sleep. I feel like shit. I don't want to do any work and I'm not productive. These are my two. What is yours? Post in the Facebook group. Look, that's the truth for today. Go do the challenge. Let's rock this. I will see you tomorrow.